Hey guys, I wanted to show you this hat I'm working on. Um, it was just a beige hat with a red brim on it, as you can see. Let me show you it. And the lady wanted me to paint it and do some abstract art on it. So I've already started that. And the brim, it has like a red, like little trim, brim going around the rim. And now she also wants me to paint underneath the hat, which I'll go back and do that later. And I'm about to now go in with this red paint here. And I think it matches the brim pretty good. So let me show you. She wanted me to paint over the brim too. So instead of me painting over the brim, I'm just going to incorporate this color red into the whole hat. So um, I don't have to cover the whole brim. Okay, so now I'm going to put some red on there. And she told me to do whatever I wanted. And I'm really dressed in one of my really nice dresses, which I probably oh, should put something on that I won't, so I won't get any paint. Oh, I think this paint that I'm using is really old. Ew, it is kind of old. Ew, yuck, yuck, yuck. But anyway, it's really red. Oh, it's a very nice, rich red. I like it. The first paint I put on there is um, it's called uh, um, it's Americana. Um, the name of it, and it's premium acrylic paint, and it's a lamp ebony black. This one is on uh, patio paint, it says, and it's, it's an acrylic, and it's for outdoor decorating. You put it on terracotta or whatever, but I'm going to put it on this straw hat because I just use paint for whatever, put it on whatever I want to put it on. Excuse me for a second. Okay, so um, today is Saturday, and she's supposed to come pick it up. She's going to come and get it on, um, I told her to come and get it on Tuesday because I need it, it needs time to dry, and so the black is still, um, is still wet, but I'm just going in adding some red in certain places. I'm really enjoying this too. I'm not going to do a lot of red, but just some colors, accents of red. I don't know if you can really see what I'm doing, guys. I'll try to pull this up a little bit closer so you can see. So you've already seen where I've started, so I'm just going in, putting some red. I'm actually down at my studio today and waiting for a customer to show up. So while I'm waiting, this is an order. I'm going to try to get it done. I have on my nice clothes. I shouldn't paint in my nice clothes, but I do it all the time. I'm going to try to be careful and not get any paint um, on my dress. I just took my heels off, so you see I got a little short. <laughs> so, yeah. So, she also wants me to paint underneath the hat, too. So, that's why I want to get started. So, this can start to dry. And I can start putting the colors in. So, when I turn it upside down, the paint will be dry already, and it won't get everywhere. And, you know. The next color I'm going to go in with, I'm not sure. I'm thinking some type of mustard color. Ew. And see, now some of that red paint rubbed off on there. Kind of came together. I don't like that. Yuck. I really like this red. It's a very nice color. Very rich. Very rich color. Oops. Uh oh. Okay, guys, I'm being messy. Almost got it on my dress. Probably did. I don't see it. Oh, I need to be careful. Okay. So the next color, I should wait for this to dry. 
but if I go find some mustard, I'm going to go in with a mustard color. Next. I find this to be very fun, too. You know what? This gives me an idea. I might start painting straw hats. She just, I might really do that. I like it. I love to paint. So you guys see what I'm doing so far? You like it? I got the pictures back from the fashion show, and I'm going to try to do a slideshow so you guys can kind of see some of the outfits I made and ooh, see some of the scenes for the show. It is hot. It's hot in here. I need to turn on a fan. Or I'm just having a hot flash or something. Can you see what I'm doing so far, guys? I don't know if you find in this video boring, so I don't know. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna tilt this up a little bit so you can see it a little better. You see what's going on so far? Let me get something to put behind this so it can lean back a little bit. You can see better. How's that? Can you see where I'm at now? I think it's looking good so far. I really do. So I just wanted to put a splatter of red. I didn't want the red to be the dominating color. So there's that color. So let me turn it around. How you like it, guys? You see it? I put too much red paint down. I hate to waste paint, but I don't need all of it. So now that we did that part, I'm trying to figure out, like I said, I think I want to go in with a mustard color. I kind of like the foundation, like the background. I like that creamy look. That looks really good. I like that a lot. So, the reason why I put the black as the dominating color because I want her to be able to wear this with anything. Then I'm going to put some other colors in there and I need to get a smaller brush because I don't want a lot of, um, like I don't want big brushes up the page. Okay, so guys, that's my customer. And I'll be back with you in a second. Oops. Okay, I'm trying to put the brush down. Bye.